Hi, this is Carrie. I'm a research impact and health professions librarian at the Albert S. Cook Library at Towson University. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly locate health statistics on the web. The first thing I want to show you is the National Center for Health Statistics, which is part of the CDC. There's a lot of really good information on this page. So you can learn more about trending topics, for example, coronavirus, you can see some of the new reports that have come out recently. And if you keep scrolling down the page, you'll have links to things like NHANES, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey with data and statistics. So you can navigate through here and you can navigate across the top here too. So this may help you as a discovery tool. Let's look at data and tools. And we see here some public use data files if you were looking to do some sort of secondary analysis. We see databases from the government, CDC Wonder, and Whiskers. And if we keep going down the page, we see what's new and the stat of the day and some additional information. Now I will tell you that because these reports are usually slow to come out, you're frequently looking at older data. So it's 2023 now. We might have data from 2019, 2020, or 2021. And so that's a really good site. You can browse here and you can search up here in the top right. So you're limiting your search to the National Center for Health Statistics. Now, a smaller piece of the National Center for Health Statistics is called Fast Stats. So this is a quick index for health topics, and you can scroll through here and link to various topics, let's say the flu, influenza, and if you click on any topic, you're going to be linked to some citable stats and some reports for where this information came from. Lots of links. It's easy to go down the rabbit hole with this information when you're looking things up. Now let's say you didn't find what you need here, or here, so maybe National Center for Health Statistics or Fast Stats didn't have exactly what you needed. And so I'll show you a technique that I use in Google. So when you search with Google, you usually get a lot of various results, some ads, some .com, .gov, .org, and maybe some other sites, but there's a way to limit that. And I'll just type here mortality, State. And then the trick I use is to limit by site. So we'll say site colon, and then we can say dot gov. So when we do that, our results should be limited to websites which are dot gov. And here we see again the CDC, fast stats, and some other information, but we're not dealing with ads. We are seeing dot gov sites, and we'll probably even see some specific state sites. So here's Georgia, for example. Here's Tennessee, Michigan. Maybe there are non-governmental organizations that are doing work that you're interested in. So we can change this to .org.org and again, try our search here. And we're going to get things like the Kaiser Family Foundation, KFF. We've got Wikipedia. We've got some articles and some other information here. Now, let's say you were looking at mortality and you wanted to compare across countries. So you're not just limited to United States sites here. We could do mortalitysite.gov. That probably brings us back United States sites. Let's say we were looking at the UK or Australia. The first thing you have to do is find out their government sites URLs. And in this case, it's .gov.uk. And I'll hit enter. And now we have results from .gov in the UK. So here we see England and Wales, Office for National Statistics, and then that would work similarly for a, a country like Australia. So it's .gov.au, and we'll try that. And here we have the Australian Bureau of Statistics. So you might be able to make some comparisons that way. Now there's one more site that I would like to show you, and it's called Our World in Data. So they have some highlighted work here on their front page. But if you were to do a search for, let's say, maternal mortality, here we go. 
and then I'll click that entry, or maternal mortality, and here we get the entry for maternal mortality with links to more information, maybe some definitions, instructions for using the work, and citing the work. And if you scroll down, you're going to see some really beautiful visualizations that you can download and use with proper attribution in your work. So that's another site that I like. And usually they're just aggregating from data that already exists that is already available. So those are some techniques that I have for looking for health statistics on the web. I start with the National Center for Health Statistics. I might browse Fast Stats, which is part of the same. I do some searching with site limiters, site colon dot gov or site colon dot org. And finally, this beautiful site called Our World in Data, which has some really rich information and visualizations that you can use in your research. Thanks for watching, and remember, we're here to help.